A Tale of Two Howitzers, From Israeli Origins to Indian Ingenuity The world of artillery is one of thunderous power and strategic significance. Howitzers, with their ability to rain down explosive shells from afar, have been decisive factors in countless conflicts. This essay delves into the capabilities of two such artillery pieces, the Soltam M71 and the Danush. Both howitzers share a common ancestor in the venerable 155mm toed howitzer design, but they have taken different paths in their evolution. The Soltam M71, hailing from Israel, is a testament to practicality and battlefield reliability. It is a robust and battle-tested artillery piece, prized for its simplicity and ease of maintenance. This makes it well-suited for armies that prioritize ruggedness and straightforward operation. On the other hand, the Danush, developed in India, represents a modernization of the original design. The Danush incorporates advanced technologies to enhance its accuracy, range, and overall combat effectiveness. This reflects a global trend in artillery development towards increased precision and lethality. While both howitzers ultimately share the goal of delivering firepower, their design philosophies and subsequent capabilities differ in ways that reflect the evolving nature of warfare. The Sultan M71 was born out of Israel's need for a dependable and hard-hitting artillery piece. Israeli military doctrine placed a premium on mobile, rapid response forces. This meant their artillery had to be easily transportable and quick to deploy. The M71, with its relatively lightweight design and simple operation, fit this requirement perfectly. It could be towed by a variety of vehicles, allowing it to keep pace with mechanized infantry and armored units. The M71's design emphasized ease of use and maintenance. This was essential for Israeli forces who often operated in harsh desert environments. Field stripping and repair needed to be straightforward and possible with minimal specialized equipment. The M71's robust construction meant it could withstand the rigors of constant movement and rough terrain. Its simple, robust design proved to be a significant advantage for its operators. This reliability made the M71 a favorite of armies around the world. The Danush Howitzer represents India's commitment to self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Based on the blueprints of the Soltam M71, the Danush project aimed to not just replicate, but significantly upgrade the original design. Indian engineers incorporated state-of-the-art technologies, particularly in the areas of fire control and barrel manufacturing. This resulted in a howitzer that boasts superior accuracy and range compared to its predecessor. One of the key drivers behind the Danush's development was India's need for artillery capable of operating in high-altitude environments. The challenging terrain and thin air of the Himalayas demanded a weapon system that could maintain accuracy and range under these specific conditions. The Danush was engineered to meet these demands, incorporating features like an enhanced recoil system and a longer barrel to achieve optimal performance even at high altitudes. When it comes to sheer firepower, both the Soltam M71 and the Danush pack a considerable punch. They fire a standard 155mm artillery round, capable of delivering a devastating payload of explosives over long distances. However, the Danush holds a clear advantage in terms of range. The M71 has a maximum range of roughly 23 kilometers, which is respectable for a howitzer of its class. The Danush, on the other hand, can reach out and touch targets over 38 kilometers away. This extended range gives the Danush's operators a significant tactical edge. They can engage enemy positions from safer distances, minimizing their exposure to counter-battery fire. The Danush's increased range is a direct result of its modernized design and advanced barrel manufacturing techniques. This highlights the importance of incorporating cutting-edge technology in artillery development to maintain an advantage on the modern battlefield.